Can, they, can we get live callers? You're listening to Inside Real Good. Estate. Let's get some live callers. Like Howard and real Stern. Related, <laughs> the show that brings you all the hottest oh, topics the intro, and insights bro. directly from those who know it most. Now sit yes, back man. and enjoy the show. We have a really, really fun show today. We got some great, I mean, this is going to be really interesting. Don't What's build up? it up too much. Uh, you're right, you're right. What's up, everyone? Paul Poslakis, Brad Wise, Guru Salvatore Kuzmana. We are Inside Real Estate. Today, we have our attorney, actually. Hey. Yeah. How are you, Billy Colonis? Good. Colonis. <laughs> you said it right last time when you gave me the shout out. I did, right? Yeah. Colonis. All right. My bad. Is that Greek, by the way? No. I know you'd love it to be, I but. I know, dude. You don't look Greek at all. It's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, and we got Brandon Mulrennan. Brandon is obviously, we've, we've been friends a long, long time, uh, longer than me and uh, that our, our attorney over here. But fortunately, our attorney's actually done more for us. So, uh, but no, Brandon has started a new business. Uh, the company name is Brookstone. Is it Brookstone Realtors? That's right. Okay, just want to make sure I get that right because there's always like caveats, right? Yeah. So, Brandon's got a really interesting model. I really want to get into that. I do want to talk about how his model is kind of in the market and what that means. And also, you've got all these eye buyers and kind of like what that's doing in the market. I kind of want to assimilate the two a little bit. Uh, talk about the market, obviously, and see what's going on with that. Uh, first and foremost, though, Brad Weisgerber on the way in today got sm- rerunded. Yeah. Not in the good way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a good way? Yeah. For Brad, yeah. No. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, you got rerunded, buddy. Yeah. Um, does your neck hurt? A little bit. Our, our <laughs> we have an attorney here. Hurt? Legit kind of does. Our yes. attorney's like, you got to go to the doctor right away. Yeah. <laughs> you like money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should call one 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 eight hundred. You hurt? <laughs> Whatever it, it is. sucks, yeah. man. I was just I was thinking on the way in. I was like, man, I'm early. I'm gonna go get the truck washed up, get nice and sparkly, <laughs> shiny, clean. I heard Jamana does Tough a good stuff. job. Dude, and then, <laughs> and then this guy comes out of nowhere and says hello to my hitch. And uh, guys, you should see that. So Brad, by the way, drives this massive diesel pickup truck, right? And he's got this big hitch. I yeah. guess would be the best way to put it. Don't. Do I had that, the small though. hitch on today. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, wow. and then this guy's car, that I saw this picture of this guy's car. It looked like Swiss cheese, dude. The front end of his car was in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did the cops no, come or you just bounced? Oh, no, the cops came. My, my hitch went into his engine block. He couldn't drive. That's wild. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. I would not So, want so you won? Yeah. Oh, I won. Somehow oh, you yeah, made yeah. it on time. Yeah. Uh, Early. Crazy. Right? Got in an accident. <laughs> the cop was right there and was just like, see ya. But when it rains, you don't make it. No, I mean I left this morning before <laughs> seven o'clock. Wow! All right, let's get let's get into the show, guys. <laughs> That's what so, happens when you live up north. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of wild. Yeah, yeah. So, Brandon, uh, congratulations first Thanks, and man. foremost, man. So, I've known Brandon oh, quite some time, all the way back from our Quicken days. That's right. Yeah, Brandon worked at Quicken back in the infancy of the company a little bit, right? That's exactly right. So, uh, recently, you made the leap, and, and Billy, you're a partner, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So you guys made the leap to basically open up your own brokerage, which is something that you've, you've always, always talked about and kind of like always wanted to do. So talk to me about what the mindset was to actually finally say, you know what, I'm doing that. I'm going to open up my own brokerage. Yeah. So um, we're super excited about the, 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 the new company. And really, it's because why, right? So the reason why we did this was, number one, we saw a huge opportunity in the marketplace here in Michigan. There, there was nobody doing a hundred percent commission concept brokerage here in Michigan at large scale. So, so we, think, think about that. So, a hundred percent commission. So, I'm a, I'm a real estate agent. Most of the time, you go work at Keller, you, whatever it is. You're, you're giving up a good portion of your commission, and you're also there's desk fees. There's a lot of things that, that you know the, the ways that these brokerages actually make the money. Right? That's right. Yeah. Well, and and so you know for years I've been looking at this model uh, myself as a sales producer, right? As a real estate salesperson. Um, looking at this thing that I call the value exchange between real estate company and real estate agent. And the challenge that real estate agents are having right now is what is the actual value that I'm getting for the company in which I work, right? So if that's, we were, that's everybody's. That, that's, that's everybody, that's every industry, yeah. right? What's the value? That's exactly right. What is the value? And so if we were to travel to Chicago or if we were to go to Minnesota, uh, yeah. you would see that the 100% concept brokerages are the large players. It wouldn't be the Remax. It wouldn't be the Keller Williams. But in Michigan, there's a large, large opportunity for us to to hopefully be that one day here in Michigan. Um, and so that's why we chose to open Brookstone. Number one, we wanted a company that was for the agent, right? Mm-hmm. Um, everything that we do is, is, is literally for a real estate agent to succeed at the highest level. Yeah. Uh, we're putting ourselves in the back seat to win through others long term yeah. right so uh 
the opportunity was really, really good because nobody was was running with this model at a at, at a high level. So you know, it's interesting because we are sell a tradition, very traditional type of real estate market here in Metro Detroit. You know, very much so. Uh, very traditional. We're, we're we're dominated by these remaxes, by these traditional models. Uh, there's some people that are doing some different things in different ways, but the reality is, to your point, and this is interesting to me that you said that in other markets, this is the model. That's right. Well, and that's the thing. Michigan, for whatever reason, seems to adopt new models uh, later than the rest of the country. I don't know why. I haven't figured that out. Um, as far as real estate. As far as real estate goes. We're always the last one to follow through with, with any new technology or any new um, new concepts. I mean, if you look at, which we're going to get into in just a minute, all these different uh, Redfins and Zillow things, they're not really live yet in Michigan. They're coming to Michigan. But Michigan's, for whatever reason, is always the last one to adopt mm. these Which is models. really weird because in the mortgage world in Michigan, in Metro Detroit, we're like a leader. Mm, right? If you think about that, like yeah. between Quicken and UWM and Flagstar and all these big names that are actually like pushing the envelope on the mortgage side of things. Sure. Um, you know, the, the, it's weird because we are a real that estate a mortgage kind of community here. I mean, our mortgage is a big industry in our, in our area. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But hey, I mean, if if we're behind, obviously, like you said, that creates opportunity, right? That's exactly right. I love, you know what I love that you're doing? You, 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 a, a, it was something that you were interested in, right? So you translated that and said, well, if I'm interested in it, why wouldn't anybody else be in it? And, and Billy, you can talk on this. You guys have hired like 40 agents in 40 days, you told me. That's right. That's a lot of people that also are like, hey, man, I'm into this. Well, and I'm sure like all 40 of them probably asked the, the one question I'm thinking too, like, What's the catch? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly right. right. So yeah. That, that's the number one question that we're getting, right? So as we mastermind with, um, with these companies across the country that exist today, everyone told Bill and I, hey, your number one objection in your entire state. I don't believe you. I don't believe it. There's yeah. too, it's too good yeah. to be true. There's no way you can do that. How can you make money? Um, are you going to be in existence in a year? Are you going to shut down? How mm-hmm. is it even possible? How are you going to support me as well? That's exactly right. right. And so here's what people are really missing. I think this is the real key thing to a 100% concept real estate brokerage firm. You have to think at it through the lens of how the traditional real estate brokerage, uh, what does that look like from a high level? So if we looked at a real estate brokerage firm with 100 agents, right? Not all 100 agents are succeeding at a high level. Would you guys agree with that? Well, yes. Only about 20 of them are. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, that's no, the no, real that's number. The that's the yeah. reality. No, I know that's that. That's the reality. Yeah. So there's only about 20 people that are selling houses. Well, those companies are only driving revenue when those 20 people are selling homes. Correct. Right? Yeah. And then when they cap out because these companies are running off of a cap system, those brokerages have a tough time getting cash flow. Right? Just so everybody knows, capping out means at some point you, you've hit your limit on how much you owe the brokerage back as far as commissions. That's exactly right. Right. We, we run off of a membership-based brokerage, meaning uh, regardless how, how our agents, if they're, if they're selling hundreds of houses or 10 houses, we run almost like a Planet Fitness where we have it's, – it's consistent cash flow because we're running off of a membership monthly. Our agents pay a small membership every month, mm-hmm. and then they get to keep 100% of their commission. That's interesting. Right? So, it's, it's like so we have cash flows already. Yeah, right, right off the bat, if it was right? a new brokerage under the traditional model, we'd be waiting ninety days. That's a great point. Oh wow! Because right. so, right. yeah. you're waiting for closings to happen to create cash. Right, but right. you're but you're onboarding these agents, yep. and they're paying obviously the the membership to be part of this group. That's right. So so talk to me about the value proposition. Other than the hundred yes. percent, right? So there, you you can't just give a hundred percent commission and not actually offer value. That's right. right? And so that's what's interesting. So some people. Uh, thought that would be the reason why these companies succeed at a high level. It isn't at all. No, you still have to add value. That's right. 100%. That's just the draw. That's right. just, that's just the, the cherry on top for right. us. Cherry on top. It, it really, really is. And so uh, we just happen to be 100% commission, but that's not why people come to our company. Obviously, because that's not enough. That's right. The foundation of Brookstone, the way that we put this is it's a real estate coaching and training organization that just happens to have a real estate broker's license in the state of Michigan. And just so the audience knows, Brandon has been doing coaching for a very long I've watched you coach. I've yeah. seen you coach. I know that you are passionate You've about coaching. You've been coached by him. I've yeah. been coached by him. Right. Yeah, we, we've had conversations. Like, I've been coached. Yeah, he's yeah. he's good. Like You're good, right? You're good at your craft, and you're good at translating that craft and messaging it to other people in the industry, which is really important. So that's good. So you're obviously that's that's where you see you're going to set yourself apart. That's exactly right. So instead of an agent going to hire like a Tom Ferry or a Mike Ferry coach or a this coach or that coach, which is expensive, by the way, it's like two thousand dollars a month or fifteen hundred dollars a month. Yeah. And so these agents, instead of doing that, uh, they get to get coaching and training at a high, high level in person now for real in their real life in their real market. Yeah. And keep 100 percent of their commission. So at the baseline of Brookstone, 
it's a it's a real estate training and coaching organization. So all of these agents that have been uh, seeking leadership, culture, training, coaching, accountability that hasn't really existed in a big way here in the state of Michigan, these agents can plug into a coaching system to not only sell more homes, to, but obviously be a lot more profitable at the same time. You know what's interesting about that? Like even in our business, right? If, if we're not offering coaching and offering support and, and helping our people grow, it doesn't matter how much commission we pay them. It's so true. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It not doesn't matter. If we're not facilitating growth on some level, because here's the thing. Ultimately, humans are humans, right? There's a small percentage of humans that are self-motivated, but the majority of humans need to have so true. that office environment. They need to have someone saying, hey, man, you got to do this because this makes more sense because what you're doing is not working, right? Yep. Even I need coaching. Like, Sal coaches the shit out of me all the time. He's right. like, dude, you're an idiot. Why are you doing that's that? That's a good partnership. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. that's Hold each other accountable. And, and being open-minded <clears throat> listening to that, right? Yeah. We, we are life partners. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, when you ask, hey, what is the value proposition, right? So training, coaching. The, the other big thing, Paul, is um, so, so when, when my sales team was at its highest peak doing 150, 175 deals, we had to go outside of our real estate brokerage to get the tools and the technology that we needed, right? So we had to get our own Boomtown account because mm-hmm. why? The real estate brokerage didn't provide that to there's us. No there's, there's no CRM. There's no CRM. Yeah. There's no lead generation platform. So right. a lot of our agents are coming to us because they're super excited that they get to uh, plug into KV Core. So KV Core is a lead generation platform like a Boomtown, like a Commissions Inc., um, like a Real Geeks platform, where an agent doesn't have to go outside of our company to pay for that. They get to plug into that at our company. So they're getting tools, technology, training, coaching, and oh, by the way, they get to keep all their commission. What do you say to other brokerages or other people in the industry or anybody even coming to talk to you? How do you provide all that value and still pay 100% commission? I know there's a membership model, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think that, that, that that's totally enough to, to really give them all the value they need, right? Because this stuff costs money. Oh yeah. So we so so the way that we believe with this is um, it's the it's the whole old model of hey I would rather succeed through a thousand people right uh, on thin margins. Help. Volume. That's exactly right. Not volume. only volume, but here's the deal: um, we win if we. It's that old saying: if you help enough people get what they want. In return, you get what you want, right? It's the law of reciprocity. We're running. Oh, so, even say that. so when I coach and train an agent on reverse selling, it's it's based off of the law of reciprocity, which is simply uh, the more you pour into people, the more you give, the more you what? The more you get. The more you get. Yeah. Our company, Brookstone, is based on that philosophy. So we operate on very tight, thin margins on purpose because it's for the people, right? Mm-hmm. So we are an agent-centric company, not a broker-centric company. What that means is that um, everything, all decision-making that we do is for the agent. How do you support them the best? That's exactly right. And if it's not best for the agent, um, we just don't do it. And so the, the way that we win is by helping uh, the masses win at a, at a big scale. And in return, we will win long term. Yeah. It's funny you made that that planet fitness analogy because that's kind of it, right? That's it's it. like, hey, it's 20 bucks a month and you have everything that you Need to, to get ripped. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, and there, I mean, you don't it's do all the, the, if you don't do the work. It's not going to happen. Yeah, We're not gonna do doesn't it really matter. One hundred percent of one deal is that's not right. A lot, right? right. But it makes sense for the for the business model too, because you know, to your point, you know what the cash flow is going to be. You, but, right. You you can forecast it. You know, you don't know. Brad goes immediately to yeah. like to because he he's our it, he's though. our controller. Right. But it's it's, it's true though. Otherwise, you're like. Man, how many how many homes are we gonna sell this month? What's our cash flow gonna look like? Are we gonna pay our bills? Are we gonna be able to That's get the toughest part about brokerage? You, you never know. know. You don't even know what, what's closing. Right. That's right. So Brad just nailed it, and that's funny. He's the controller because yeah. that. So so I met with an agent yesterday um, from Remax, and and he saw it right away. He goes, "I totally get it. If you had two hundred agents versus a, a Keller Williams that has two hundred agents, again, the Keller Williams that has two hundred. They're only making money when someone sells a house, and which mm-hmm. they you, know, and you which don't is know. hard to track. It's hard to track. It's funny. I'll talk to bro- owners of brokerages, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, we don't even know we have a deal closing tomorrow." Yeah, yeah. they turn in the package like man. the day before. Yeah, how, surprise. <laughs> yeah. How's, yeah. how's business, man? I don't know, man. I think we're gonna close Ox, but I don't where's know. my check? Yeah. yeah. So well, I, I saw a seminar about uh, some guy did a seminar about this membership based model. Yep. He was talking about car washes, and yep. he was like, "It's a car wash model." If it rains, if it's snowing, if it's gross out, you, you're not going to get any money that day. So mm-hmm. he's like, this car wash across the street from our office, they did a membership model. And now I'm getting my car washed. I'm getting my car washed two times a day, day right? And seven yeah. days a week. But the, the car wash doesn't care because they, they know what the revenue that month, is, right? Well, and, and so that's the genius in a membership-based um, company, whether that be real estate or a car wash, 
it's it's consistency and cash flow. It's giving up the big home runs mm-hmm. right. for base hits, yep. but they're Singles consistent. And doubles, yeah. yeah, consistent base hits, right? right? So imagine a world where you have a, a business where you wake up knowing exactly how many base hits you're going to hit versus looking for the Barry Bonds. Like, is he going to hit a home run this month? Right. Don't know. Brad's like trying to figure out how we can do this now. To be fair, our business is very, very transactional. We, mm-hmm. get, we, we don't know what we're going to get. I mean, obviously, we have to work every day and we kind of have an idea because we know it's in the pipeline. Line, but ultimately, we can't totally control our finances because it fluctuates. That's right. Yeah. Well, if you look at um, people's stress levels from an entrepreneurial standpoint, yeah, I'm going to die. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well it, it's caused by the unknown. Yeah. It's caused by yeah. the unknown. And, and if you look at you know this whole failure rate with real estate agents and why it's so big, it's actually bigger on the brokerage side. And the reason why these brokers don't make it is because they can't manage cash flow. Right. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. this, I believe right now, Paul, well, I don't even know what year it is, 2019, I believe that, I, um, I, I believe for the agent and a broker owner that this 100% membership company makes sense for both parties. It's both. mutually beneficial. It it's mutually yeah. beneficial. It's mutually beneficial. And so if you fast forward 10 years from now and Brookstone's, you know, three, four, five thousand 5,000 agents strong, um, people will say, well, yeah, it makes a lot of sense for the agent and for Brookstone. Well, let's let's be real. To, to pick up 40 agents in 40 days, it's resonating somehow. Yep. Right? Now you have to perform. Yep. From, from a broker level, now you, now it's on the onus on you. you. You created the model. Now it's like, okay, if you don't perform, that's that's the stress level for you, right? That's right. So so uh, it's interesting you bring that up, and, and you're exactly right. Um a lot of – and I, when I coach an agent, I say the same thing. Hey, the number one complaint in the real estate or mortgage industry is after the consumer has hired us, then things fall apart. They go dark. The phone calls start happening after they're done whining and dining you. Mm-hmm. Well, the same the thing – honeymoon ha- phase is over. That's right. Same thing happens in the brokerage business. I had one of our agents um, literally tell me yesterday at one of our training and coaching sessions – I've learned more in this one-hour coaching session, I don't know if you were there or not, than I have in 20 years being at REMAX. And it wasn't, it's not REMAX's fault, but it's the broker owners themselves not being leaders. And Brandon, you're doing this pro bono, right? You're giving this as value. That's right. They don't pay anything for that. And so... Um, you know what I like about this? Tell me. The reality is people are buying into you. Yeah. That's the reality. And don't take that lightly because, you know, if you suck... Or you sucked, or you didn't have a good reputation, you didn't know what you're doing, they wouldn't come work with you. And your team, obviously. Yeah. A good company has a good leader, right? That's right. And I like the whole model, like like he said, being able to predict the cash flows and whatnot allows you to implement new technologies, new things to keep changing, keep growing. And so, scale. Right. The, the the more people you have working for you, the more everyone wins. And I, right. I, I, and I want I the audience want to say to working for you, right? But on, Together. Yeah. And, 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 and I'll talk about servant leadership. <clears throat> it's nobody's working for me. I work right. for them. Right. That's yeah. that biggest thing. That's that when huge. I when I yeah. sit down with an agent, yeah, they're, they're like, our customers. They're they our hire clients. you monthly. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Dude. So they're not used to that relationship being no. served like this. Yeah. Um. And, and to your guys' point, because usually the the broker not not to be Mom. a dick, but they're sucking out of it's it. It's always crazy. They broker centric. The broker. That's right. Right. Yep. So that's the difference between broker centric, agent centric companies. Interesting. The new wave of real estate brokerage, you have to be agent-centric because these agents are sitting back scratching their heads saying, wait a minute, I'm going to give you 30 40% of my transaction. Why? And if you can't yeah. articulate why, these brokers are going to be in trouble. Well, it's not only so, that. It's I'm going to give you 30%, 40% of my commission, and I'm going to pay for my own lead system. That's right. And well, I'm going to build a team. He's exactly right. He's and exactly right. I'm basically my running my own company. Look, anyway, why am I paying it? Does, nailed it. It does sometimes I, work, though. The big question. Fair, Brad gets it. I don't think there's a different lot. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. That's right. And I think some That's people a horrible do. Analogy. Go ahead. <laughs> it's an old saying. Just, oh I know. God. It's just bad. So basically, my thing is, is like some some like places it. do offer enough value for new agents to get in there, and th- th- they need that, right? It's so true, right? And, and, and to so be fair. Paul's Paul's very. It's very fair. What I'm saying is, is our way is not good or bad, right or wrong. That's not what I'm saying. It's right They're, for the right person. That's exactly right. Things are right for 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 the certain person. Everybody's different. Um, Who does a real estate? Look, what does that look like? Who is that person? Yeah, I mean, I, I great I, question. Yeah, our company is really, Thanks. really designed for somebody who's been in the business for uh, about a year or two or longer. Mm-hmm. Um, 
who who just needs help. They don't understand how to generate. They're kind leads. of figuring it out and yeah. they're ready to move to the next level. Yeah. It's what? not really set up for the brand new agent that just passed their exam last night. Uh, it's more set up for somebody who understands what real estate is. They just need to know the how now. So what do you say to the agent? So now I'm, I'm looking to go somewhere. I've been working at, let's say, Remax yeah. forever. And now I'm, go, I'm going out there and I need more support. I need, want, I need to grow. And they go talk to Keller Williams, which their whole model is, in theory, based to support the, the, the real estate agent. But not really, right? But they, they do provide a lot of value as far as trainings and all that. But a lot of people don't take advantage of them. And it's not really, you've got to like sign up for it, right? It's, there's all this stuff. What do you say to that person? What, what differentiates the two? Yeah, well, well, I was at Keller Williams pretty mm-hmm. much my whole career, right, yeah. in real estate. Yeah. And so what, what we're seeing, and this isn't a Keller Williams or a... No, no, no. Th- this, is a, um, this is a reality that the broker owners of these companies, they have great intentions. Let's be very clear. They want to provide value to the, their agents. Sure. But going back to what I was saying a minute ago, they have never been coached to, to be a great coach or great leader. And so they have great intentions bringing somebody into the company. They don't even know how to do it. They don't know how to do it. Yeah. And so... Uh, Keller Williams, what happens there is they have MAPS coaching, okay? So I don't know if you knew that, but mm. they, when they bring an agent in, our coaching costs $1,000 per month. Mm-hmm. That's what Keller, that's how you get coached at Keller. Oh, so you have to pay for it. Yeah, it's 1000 a month. Word. Yeah. So, so that's where we come in and say, listen, we are a coaching company. We are a MAPS coaching organization. So instead of hiring a MAPS coach or a Mike Ferry coach or a Tom Ferry coach, you're hiring Brookstone as your coaching organization, but we're the brokerage too. That's sick. Yeah. That's super sick. You don't, you o- I'm okay. sorry. Do you offer like a menu, right? Like, hey, yes. like it's tiered depending sure. what you want. I think that, that, that's this exactly is what we do. I think that's genius. Yep. Because if you need a, you need X, you can have it. We have it. You yeah. Just, you can. Right. We've already it. got yeah. our own leads, our own business, blah, blah, blah. We only need. I don't X, need any right? of that. So here's, here's the part we haven't talked about. We do exactly that. So we ha- it's like a, it is a menu of. It's like we've, an a la carte service. That's right. You and I talked about this, mm-hmm. Paul. And um, we Thanks have a lead genius. generation uh, uh, option for agents. So if they don't have money or budget, we will pay for their leads. There's an option for that. We have an option for transaction coordination, right? So if you just want to sell real estate, you don't want to get uh, messed with all the, the paperwork. Mm-hmm. We have in-house transaction coordination. We have in-house bookkeeping. We've tried to create a, a company where it's not just one size fits all. To your point, Brad, everything's different for certain people. There's not one commission structure that's right for everybody. So if an agent does need more support or they need leads paid for because they don't have the budget, we have options for all of those different things. I love this because you started the 100% commission, yep. and then you can choose the, the format that you want to live You choose in, your path. Right? You choose your path. That's really interesting. You could come into our internal sales team and get all your expenses covered. Right? We've got an option for that as well. We're trying to create a company that, uh, regardless of where you're at in your business today, only thing we care about is how do we create a world for you to succeed in? How do you how do we create wealth in you? That's it. So um, how do you, how do you manage the um, the individuals? Say say you have forty agents. I could see one on one kind of coaching and stuff. But when you get to 60, 70, 80 agents, mm, how do you how scale? Do, how do you how do you scale and be able to have that one on one and understand them? And be able to to impact them and know what they need and, and provide the suggestions. Quality of coaching, yeah, yeah. As opposed to them having to come to you because humans aren't going to do that. No, right? they're not by, by nature. So we have a coaching uh, schedule, right? So when you join our company, you plug into one of our coaching programs, and it's all way, it's all scheduled out. So a lot of what we do is group. Mm-hmm. We have one on one on demand. But the biggest thing that we're looking at right now is scaling our leadership team, right? So in order for this company to grow to where we want to grow to. Yes, we are in the agent development business, but really what we are leadership. is a leadership development organization. So the only way that we grow Brookstone is by bringing people in the real estate industry and developing them as leaders and as coaches, right? Because yes, people are buying into my leadership, but I'm only part of the company, right? So if the if Brookstone's future is predicated on Brandon's back, we've failed, right? We need to grow leaders with inside our company. So and that's where this is we're bringing people on our team that want more than just helping people buy and sell houses. They say, Brandon, I want to lead offices. I want to lead territories. I want to open an office in South Florida. What does that look like? How do we do that? And so we're creating leadership development programs to scale our coaching systems. So what's analogous to, to that for me is my experience in life. So I, I worked at, we worked at Quicken, right? Yeah. And I remember 
Dan himself would come in and do the, the onboarding training and, you know, but what Dan was a genius about, and the only reason that company is massive, and even though he had the stroke the other day and someone goes, oh my God, what's going to happen to the company? Here's what Dan's genius is. He was able to create clones of himself across the company that he felt were, and they're all really good, right? We know a lot of guys are, we came from that. I learned a lot, right? Big he time. created a situation where he, he created leaders within the company that, that could replace him. You got to replace yourself. That's exactly right, work. and that's what I tell everybody. This company has really, you know, I uh, it has less to do with me and more about what to do with future leaders. Right, right. That's what leader this comp- grooms the next his replacement. That's exactly right? right. And I told at our agent orientation last month, um, I told people, listen, I am not the future CEO, and if I am, then again, we've failed. It's 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 what John Maxwell talks about: the law of the lid. Most leaders are insecure to bringing in people that are more talented than themselves, <laughs> right? They won't do it. 100%. Because mm-hmm. the law of the lid. You're and so worried. You're worried. Yeah, <laughs> you're worried about, yeah. wow, wow, this person's this better, better than, than me. me. I want uh, everybody to be better than that's me. That's exactly right. Sal's better than me. That's right. right? Thanks. So you know what's... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Not in everything. A lot of things. Uh, almost everything. Yeah, almost everything. <laughs> um, you know what's interesting? I know Tom Tiller. Right? Yep. He, and he's a great agent. Yep. Uh, and he works his butt off. He's a great human. And he went to EXP, right? He started this thing at EXP. And then he now has joined your team, which is interesting to me because EXP has got this like... I, I, and we had you know some people on here before. We've talked about EXP. Why would he, just curious, want to leave EXP and be part of this? I'm, yeah, here's what's happening. Yeah. Again, I don't believe in absolutes. There's a lot of people that do, but uh, I don't believe in absolutes. He always attacks me with that. So <laughs> he's an attorney. That's absolute? why he's looking at me side eye. No. Well, he's an attorney. There's <laughs> yeah. either right or wrong. Here's so well, again, that's not true. That's I call, not true. At I all. call him. He's like, there's a lot of gray area. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a, a lot, lot of gray. Area. Area. You black or white. Yeah. That's where we make our money in the gray area. Uh, Paul, Paul, anybody you live in the gray. We live in the gray. No matter what happens, I don't know, man. You get sued tomorrow. That's right. So 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 here's the deal. Here's what I think I said that to you verbatim. Yeah, you get sued tomorrow. Oh, bro. I can't control me. that. That's so funny. Yeah. It might cost you 50 Gs, but you'll win. You'll win. <laughs> this is all uh, squirrels ADD happening right yeah. now. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, so here's what I'm seeing that is happening with EXP. <clears throat> I'm not here to preach on if it's right or wrong for somebody, good yeah, or bad, no, right? Yeah, no. it, it's good for some it's people. Good for every, everything's good for someone. That's right. Here's what I'm seeing, Paul. This is what's interesting about EXP. I made a video about this uh, 27 months ago, mm-hmm. and I said the challenge with the EXP model for the most part, not for everybody, but for the most part is they're taking a solo agent. I'm not talking about the big mega team mm, leaders. I'm talking yeah. about the solo agent. The one dude. yeah, The dude, one yeah. guy, the one man band, and you're removing him from any type of culture or atmosphere or accountability, yep. putting him in his basement and expecting him to succeed at a high level. It doesn't work for most people. It doesn't work for most people. Very few can handle that situation. That's I, right. I don't even think I could. But right? for the no. people, I can't work at home. No. I have to get to the office. I need, right. I need to be inspired. Like I get around yes. Sal. And, yeah. and even if I'm down, I look over and Sal's working. I'm like, I got to get to work. Well, well and that's the thing. Yeah. So, so as humans, left to our own, we will fail more times than not. That's why the personal training, that's why heart disease, that's why cancers, the, the, these, these are Jesus off the Christ, chains. Man. Well, yeah. the reason why yeah, is that if no one's there. looking, <laughs> the cancer. Dark. cancer. Well, the reason why what I'm saying is humans, if they, don't, if they don't have a bubble around them, if they don't have accountability, we're going to make bad decisions. Why? Because yeah. our brains are hardwired to run away from pain. Yes. Eat bad yeah. food, fight sleep flight, in, fight always. All of it. Yeah. So, so the problem with EXP, and literally half of our agents are from EXP, just to be clear, and the reason for oh, wow. that, the reason for that is the solo agent that is in their basement, they're like, okay, now that I'm done being wined and dined and recruited, uh, to your point earlier, where's the value? Mm-hmm. They're left by themselves on an island to figure it out, right? And then they're yeah. on the next recruiting uh, challenge. That's, but I mean, yeah. for for that's the what I'm seeing. for some people, that is a great model for that. Every but model is good sm- for some people, but it is a small well, portion of people. Yeah, I mean, that, someone that who's like, like you know, their their local favorite, whatever, right? They've already got a business. That's it's all right. referral. Okay, maybe that works, right? But, yep. Um, a question that I have would be like, let's say a big team or wants to join Brookstone. Yeah. Right. What's Does the that value still there? allow like yeah. a team leader to make splits yeah. and all that? Or yeah. So so that's where it even gets even more interesting. There's so many things that we don't even have time on to talk about in this yeah. podcast. Maybe we'll do a part two. Yeah. But for for team leaders, it actually gets really sexy for a team leader and I love uh, sexy and <laughs> not only for team leaders, Much but for um, an opportunity for someone that wants to grow wealth and 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 own what we call territories within inside Brookstone. So both of those opportunities exist in our company. For a team leader, their profitability goes through the roof. I fucking love the way your brain works. Here's, here's what I like about Brandon. I mean, it, it, like, 
he just he he sees the picture, right? But what's what what's scary about that sometimes? Because we do that, like we start thinking like this, right? Yeah. And what what happens, which I think I think everybody needs to be careful of, is you've got to also look at the first stopping block, yeah. right? Yep. You got to make sure you tackle what's more in fr- like right in front of you. Some people get really wide on yep. their vision. And they don't even see the stuff that's right in front of them that they need to yeah, fix yeah, or, yeah. or work on, right? That's ex- I mean, that's what I preach day in and day out with my, you know. And so you're exactly right. It's like one step at a time. You can't. You got to have the vision. That you got to have the vision. You have to have clear vision, but execution is more important mm-hmm. yeah. on every day, one step at a time. Got to tackle the rocks as yeah. they come up, right? I haven't had a lot of interaction with Brandon, but I can tell you're you have the coach mentality because like I've, he's awesome. I've read yeah, I've, I've read a lot of the books. Yeah. I've seen a lot of the seminars and like. You're impl- like just the conversation you've implemented so many different parts from different areas. Like, well, the, the reality is not only is he a good communicator, orator, he he, he knows his stuff. I think that's what it is. Right? Is that a word? Sounds right. Yeah. Well, look at me. Orator. Why does everyone look at me? Because you're the, you're the, the lawyer. You're the attorney. You're attorney. You're you're supposed to have the vocabulary. Is <laughs> that <laughs> um, <laughs> right? <laughs> but what, what's more, more like it's the passion. It's the passion yeah. and being able to put all those pieces together. It doesn't matter if your knowledge is there. It's also being able to communicate that to humans and make them understand, like, this is what's important. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. We don't get paid based on what we know. We get paid based on what we do with that information. And so we're... See shit like that. Yeah, we're yeah. great. <laughs> Dropping gems. Well, it's yeah. funny, like, yesterday I was Follow talking to my around. girlfriend, and it's like, I know what I need to do to double my income. Right. I know what I need to do to get in shape. I know what I need to do to do this. I, I know what I need to do. It's just, do I want to do it? So it's so true. I tell everybody, any person really has all the knowledge to get in shape. They could speak in front of 10,000 people and, and walk you through step by step how to get in shape. The, the right. challenge is what no one's eat, in shape. What to, work, yeah. <laughs> what to eat, what to not to eat, how we to work know out. It. We all yeah, know it's it. not rocket people, science. It's not a knowledge people problem pounded anymore. in our head. It's yeah. an execution problem. My wife has a trainer, not because she doesn't know what to do. She needs someone to tell her when and how to Hold do her it. accountable. Yeah, that's, that's it. Meet me dude. here at 6 in the morning. Yes. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. it's not yeah. that hard. Yeah. Yeah. Go for a walk. You can do it in your basement all by yourself in the dark. Billy, what do you do, by the way? Nothing. In the business. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No, no. that's a good point, though, because, like, I've, I view myself from the very beginning as basically his support. Yeah. This is all his vision. This yeah. is his dream, his baby. Yeah. I'm here to help him get it. Yeah, he's that's he's it. a pretty good person. If he needs follow, help. Yeah. If he needs, if he has questions, wants to bounce stuff off me, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Plus, I put in money. <laughs> 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 if you ever if you ever call Billy, he'll just say you can get sued tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Anytime. Does, Anybody can file like, a suit against right. any against you for anything they want. Well, <laughs> I would tell you he provides you you, you uh, are giving yourself enough. Uh, uh, credit. credit, dude. Because listen, he he does a lot for our company. I wanted to when we built this company, I wanted to be supported from a legal standpoint to give a layer of comfort. Right? There's, I feel very confident and comfortable sitting and operating daily by an attorney that I love, that I trust, to making sure that we're not making mistakes, that we're doing the right thing, entity, we're yeah. protecting everything, so that when we make moves, we're playing chess, not checkers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so we're always making sure that we got it. The, right the thing. core foundation of, of who you are is very important. And that's kind of why, we, I mean, to be honest, when we started, Brad was like straight salary. It was like, yeah. right, dude, th- and it was expensive. Sure. Brad was not cheap. We were like, holy well, we shit. But that wasn't that one thing that we Come live on. by in our business, and I think you're, you're this greed does not work. That's right. Like, we are not greedy. At all, we can't be greedy because if we want our people to be succeed, I don't want to. If you want to grow a business, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the thing. So when everyone's asking me all these questions, how 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 is this working? How are you guys able to do this? You remove greed. Well, we remove greed, but it's what Jeff Bezos talks about uh, when he releases his his notes to his shareholders. He talks about how long can you stay underwater. And what Amazon's done is they've been able to stay underwater, and I'll explain to you what I mean in just a mm, second. I know. Staying underwater, meaning not taking an income from the business, removing greed, holding out for the long term where everyone wants instant gratification. I want mm. now, 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 now. That's ruining businesses. Mm. And so that's wh- why they all fail. That's, that's why they all rate. fail. But boys, yeah. it's hard, right? So even we were just talking about this yeah. outside, right? If Sal and I and Brad and right. Chad, we just sat in a room, we could take profits, we'd be making way more money. Uh, but we made a decision to have a business and not be the business. We talk about that, right? Yep. And we, we, that's the, exactly it. We're gonna we're gonna stay underwater for as long as we can because we believe in growth. You got it. It's so that's where we're at right now. That's what we're doing. You believe yeah. in your model. If that's you don't right. Believe in what you're doing, then you can't really do that. Plus, we have income from other things. It's yeah, that's right. right. You guys are oh yeah, you no, can no, we're not you rich. can produce. We make 100 percent commission. Exactly. <laughs> and so, how does Brookstone work? <laughs> we just stay underwater. 
letting all these other agents succeed on the I, surface, I, and then we'll emerge in but 10 I, years. But what it really is, you you got your shirts, sleeves rolled up, and you're in the trenches and you're working. Yeah, that's right. right. That's what it is. So you're working. Cliche, yeah, right? no doubt. No, it's true, though. If the owners aren't working on a day-to-day basis on right. the business and in the business, it's not going to work. You can't be golfing four times a, a At week. some point, you just right. take that shirt off. You just have no, no sleeves to roll up You don't up want anywhere. that shirt coming off. No, you don't. You don't not, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> just, not you, no, you, re- you replace it with a different shirt that doesn't have he sleeves to roll up. Well, this was one thing, too, and I'll just, you know, we're probably going to end up here soon. but pretty soon, yeah. These broker owners are, are are non-existent in their brokerages. I know there are agents that They're work ghosts. at companies that have not for for years that have care. not met care. the broker. No, they don't care. Yeah. So, anyway. so real quick, so uh, I buyer uh, these these companies that are coming in buying these houses real quick. I, w- I just want to touch on it real quick. That's a that's a model that's coming in. I did find out that these models actually they, they say they don't charge commissions and whatever it might be, but I found out that when you look at the actual like like uh, uh, structure of the deal, they're actually the the. The seller is paying like six to eight percent to sell these homes, anyways. Plus all these other transaction fees ends up being the same amount of money. They get less for their house, and then that same company turns around and sells their, sells their house for more. Um, obviously, that works for some people, right? It's a it's a it's a it's a system that will work on some level, but I don't think it's taking over the market. Absolutely not. Here's what it is: it is wholesale scaled for the first time in the history of U.S. for real estate. For real estate. Yes. So, That's a good way to so, put it. So yeah, if you it go really on is. YouTube and you look at wholesaling, Truth. there's a small little, this, these investors that wholesale properties, we won't get into wholesaling. All that these companies are doing is scaling a wholesale model. They're buying houses at discount because people's motivation around timing, hey, I'd rather sell my house uh, for less money, but now- Based on there's a, a market for that. There's a market for out. that. I'm moving to Europe. That's there's all a, that's happening. Yeah. That's yeah. all that these things they're, they're, are. To your to your point earlier, there's a, there's a model for everyone, right? That's and right. Like uh, sometimes that model's walking away, short sale, whatever, right? That's like there's right. a segment for everyone. Everything. Yeah. yeah. yeah every everything. So I think there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. There's. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. I hate that saying, Paul. So, stop it. So we saying. do a thing called three questions. I know you're short on time. You got to go. You know, uh, you're going to do is go talk to people. That's yep. what you do. <laughs> uh, so we do three questions that, that, that are totally random. The first one's always the same. If you, uh, sorry, uh, what scares Brandon and what scares Billy? Yeah. You so go first, the thing that, that that scares me the most is not being able to. Um, have the energy needed to, to, to develop the leaders that we need that are going to grow Brookstone to, to fulfill our promise to our people. That's the thing that keeps me up at, at night. Is Disappointing your team. That's right. Yeah, that's that's, that's a good thing that's to be servant thing. Servant yeah. leadership. Yep. Yeah. And that. not holding true to that promise. Um, so that's my number one thing. Beautiful. That's me a beautiful. too. No, you can't do that. <laughs> That's not how it works. Well, I mean, Me I, I was thinking about in the same language, but like my family, like disappointing my kids. Yeah, right. that's, a that's like deal. a personal thing. Though, yeah, you know? no, it's all personal. It's yeah. what the, the question is a question. Yeah. Um, okay, if you were uh, stranded on a deserted island and you could be on that island with one person other than your family member for the rest of your life, who would it be? Darren Hardy. Who the fuck is Darren? Hardy? Dude, <laughs> no, you need a girl. Darren Hardy. Do you, is, are you not bringing your wife? What's going <laughs> no, on? No, family. no one in your family. family. No one, oh my Dar- God. Family. That's tough. You that, can't answer. Yeah. Darren Hardy is the CEO and, and uh, editor of Success Magazine. Okay. So he's uh, broke, guess, he's broke bread. With, what's the point of having him around? Say, on you a start, a, start a business on a deserted island. With Maybe. No, it's not about business. <laughs> I probably say like Bear Grylls. Yeah. There you go. That's a much better answer. Go ahead. I mean. You just need some hot chick. That's all. <laughs> hey, you got food? Yeah. All right. Coke and some hot girl to hang out with. All right. There right. you go. It'd be you're my right. wife if you're anybody, right. anybody wants to know. But if I couldn't bring her. <laughs> Very some, political. If, some, if, okay. Here's a question. Some model or actress out there. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, <laughs> if you won the lottery for $10 million today, would you stop doing your business? No. Absolutely not. Why not? I just start buying the buildings we're in. <laughs> what if you? What if it was four hundred? Right off. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. What if it was one of those Powerballs? Four hundred million. So, so money is a byproduct of, in my opinion, money is just a byproduct of, of what you get to do. Um, Their credit with what you love. That's it. Yeah. That's it. it. It's a measuring stick. But you of love the value. what you do so much that you wouldn't exactly stop right. doing. It. I've thought about this. The, the, me too. We don't get paid right I've now about for what we lot. do. Right. I mean, honestly, all it would allow us to do is help more people. Yeah. That's all that I tell him. If I had an influx of cash today. The only thing that allows me to do is make a bigger impact in the real estate industry, which I care about deeply, you do, yeah. and, and helping real estate agents succeed on a bigger le- level. You talk about developing leaders. It'd be very easy, easier for me to pay a bunch of salaries, and then I can develop people where I don't have to worry about money. Here's the difference with a lot of people. Your, your uh, monetary value in the bank does not equate to your success. And you're success-driven. You're not income-driven. That's exactly right. 
It's way different. Yep. Yeah. It's a, Billy's like, fuck that. I quit everything. <laughs> I, I was daydreaming right there. <laughs> <laughs> of what Welcome you would back. do with the border, Billy. Yeah, Dollar. I was thinking about the time Billy and, and the island. I'm still thinking about that. Oh, so, man. So just real quick off topic, Billy obviously was our attorney when we first started our business. What did you think when we came into your office and we're like, hey, we're doing this thing? You been like, His eyes popped he's wide like, open. He's like, bro, let's do it. <laughs> Is that what, I don't even remember, to you're, be honest. I think you're excited, but I don't know how. Like, I, he was I'm, excited I'm very excitable. Yeah. He was like, yeah. Wait, oh, wait, I was wait, shocked. Wait, yeah, wait, now that you say that, we're, we're doing, yeah. we're doing what? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, for this, okay, let's do it. Yeah. I don't want to name names, and you know, it's we can't, just not, yeah. Actually. But when you guys said you wanted well, to break we? away, uh, I don't know. We should, no, yeah, yeah. you wanted I mean, to break yeah, away from your previous situation, and I was like, oh, I didn't see it coming. It was like out of left field. Yeah, that's, no. that's why I was shocked. I do remember that now. Yeah. That you say that, yeah, yeah. So we, we had a lot of conversations, and Billy. By the way, but uh, once you get that formula down, right, and that. You probably were working on it for years, right? I mean, five years. years, where it was like, all right, like we actually started at one point right. a couple years ago, and then said, "No, it's not the right time." That's right. Um, yeah, yeah. Brand, Brandon has been talking about this for, and when you, when you did it, I, I gave you a call, and I was like, "Dude, congratulations!" Because once you make that leap, life changes unbelievably. Yeah, and yeah. you're excited again, and you're invigorated. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Well, it's funny. Like, I could have the longest night in the world, right? Three a.m. Just come into work like it, frequently i'll right? be <laughs> well, i'm just saying week. i'll be there the next day i know always, always. right always. Like, anyway. you're living for other people yeah we the people are being part of something bigger than yourself it helps right. what's so and cool not always it. my clients but like right. the people who a, work yeah. at omega have, that's exactly yeah. right that's it helps right. when you live a block from the office too yeah uh, got, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Brandon, Billy, tell, tell the audience if they're in, the, in if they're a real estate agent in our market or even want to get like you are very open. You will answer the phone from anyone and, and talk to them about anything. Yeah, so absolutely. If anybody across the country. Talk. By the way, our biggest markets right now is Los Angeles and New York. Sweden. I thought we have yeah. Sweden. Sweden still is listening. Yeah. Oh. We got Sweden. We got Bangladesh. We got. It's weird how that happens. It is weird, right? Yeah. That's, po- that's probably the podcast. Yeah. Sweet, yeah. Um, tell the audience how they can get a hold of you if they just want to reach out to you. If they, you know, just they sh- could call my personal cell phone. There it I is. I mean, it's two four eight. 890-5504, or they can go to our website, joinbrookstonerealtors.com. Nice. And, Billy, if anybody needs tell, some legal don't, advice. Don't call me. Tell them that you heard. <laughs> tell them <laughs> when you call. Tell them that firm, you heard yeah, the show. You, you can call my law firm, 248-457-6000. Billy's actually a really good lawyer, just yeah. so you know. He, he, Billy will offer, he uh, he'll I, offer I, discounted. I play the dummy role. It's so funny. He's like, I, I got him on the ropes, dude. I got him on the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy agreed before this that uh, anyone that calls him for legal services that heard him on the show will offer a discount. That's right. That's true, yeah. yeah. 10%. He's got to tell him. Here just much made 20%. That I totally made that up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to work. Yeah. Guys, I, I can't thank you enough and I'm so excited for you, Brandon. I'm so excited for your ability. Like, you guys are like friends of the firm, right? So yep. we, like, we've been around each other for a long time. Super, super jacked about what you guys are doing. It's exciting. Well, thanks for having us on the show, man. Yeah, uh, thanks, man. Looking forward to doing more with you guys. Let's yeah. do part two. A month out. Oh, you want to do a part two? Yeah, or two yeah. months Let's out. Let's do Whatever. a follow up in a couple. Dude, you know how yeah. hard it was to get Brandon on this fucking show th- this time. <laughs> I <laughs> one time you told me one time I go we'll be there. It's been it's been a year. Let's schedule it. Yeah, right, it has been. We're gonna schedule now for 2020. How many times did you ask me? Six months out. You hate it. Six yeah. months. Let's do a follow. That's my job. You asked me what I, I agree. Do. Six yeah. months. Six months. Let's, do yeah. follow. let's get it on the calendar. Okay. Okay. A lot of things different. Yeah, yeah. it's right. like intervention. <laughs> shows us later. Six, six months later, they're doing the <laughs> show. We're like poppers. He's back on math. He's back on math. Billy's got hair. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm bald. I went to Panama. I got that surgery. Jessica, what did you think of the show today? Panama. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Jessica's a good litmus for that. Usually she's you got like, four sucks. ADD clown yeah. and one person that's <laughs> like hyper focused. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, uh, squirrel. Nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Four ADD wasn't clowns. Boring. Should be it wasn't that. boring. That's good. That's good because it usually is. So, guys, thank you for everybody that's listening. Um, we really appreciate all the support. Our, our podcast is actually growing. You should see the numbers. It's weird. Nice. So, we should uh, get some merch made. I heard that's a new thing. My kids are telling me all about this merch from people. What do you mean? Never like mind. T-shirts? Like, like swag. I mean, like t-shirts. You, YouTube Podcast. stars selling merch. That's yeah, right. that's what it's about. Millions of dollars. That's Unreal. right. Unreal. Wow. Going that. around like talking at Jamba Juice in California. Who, I just want to like who Who's going to want an inside real estate t-shirt Dude, though, bro? You should. I've, we'll talk. Bray, we'll do right. Brookstone shirts then. If they don't want yours. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Sorry, man. That was fun. That was fun.